Boats and Streams, Part 2. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 2 on Lecture on Boats and Streams. Here's your first problem. Problem 1. A boat covers 32 kilometers downstream and 14 kilometers upstream in 6 hours each. What is the velocity of the current? Alright, for the first sum, we've said that the downstream is 32 kilometers and the upstream is 14 kilometers. Now, the, the person who rows the boat completes each of these in 6 hours each and they've asked you to find the velocity of the current. Now, in the previous lecture, as I've denoted, the downstream speed is A and the upstream speed is B. Now, what you have to do is from this, you have to find out A and B and then we can move on to the second part. Now, a very important formula that is used here is known as the distance formula. That is, D is equal to S into T where your d is your distance, s is the speed, and t is the time. This is a very important formula when you are solving boats and streams problems. Now, what we have to do is we have to find the speed for each of these cases. So let's start with downstream. So da is equal to sa ta, right? So now sa is equal to da by ta. Now da is 32 kilometers by ta is 6 hours. Now don't worry about simplifying it. In competitive exams, they give you numbers that will eventually simplify itself. So just let it be for now. Now let's find sb. So db is equal to sb into tb. Right? So sb will be db by tb. So db is 14. TB is 6. Alright. Now SA is in fact A, right? It's a speed downstream. And SB is in fact B. Now from the previous lecture, I gave you a shortcut formula that tells you the velocity of the current, right? That is the velocity of the stream will be given as half A minus B, right? So half. 32 by 6 minus 14 by 6, right? So it will give you half, 6 is the LCM, 32 minus 14, that is 18, right? 6 1s are, 6 3s are, so 3 by 2 or 1.5 kilometers per hour. This is your answer. Problem 2. A man can row 40 kilometers upstream and 55 kilometers downstream in 13 hours. Also, he can row 30 kilometers upstream and 44 kilometers downstream in 10 hours. Find the speed of the man in still water and the speed of the current. Alright, now in the second problem, they've given you two equations. A man who rows the boat can do 40 kilometers upstream and 55 kilometers downstream in 13 hours, or he can do 30 kilometers upstream and 45 kilometers, 44 kilometers downstream in 10 hours. They've asked you to find the speed of the man in still water and speed of the current. Now, speed of the man in still water and speed of the current both have shortcut formula and you, they both require A and B. A being the speed downstream, A is the downstream speed, and B being the upstream speed. Now, in the previous sum, I explained the distance formula, right? D is equal to S into T. Or you can even write it as t is equal to d by s. So now for each of these equations, you could write ta is equal to da by sa or tb is equal to db by sb. Now sa is already a, we already know that. And db and sb is b. So now let's use this and rewrite these equations. So now this is distance, distance and time. So may, let's make both the distances into times and write two new equations. So 40 kilometers upstream. What is upstream speed B? So 40 by B plus 55 downstream. So by A. Now these are both time quantities is equal to 13. This is your first equation. And the other equation is 30 upstream. So divide by B plus 44 downstream. So divide by A is equal to 10. This it's your second equation. Now solve both these equations. Alright, now that we've got both these equations, we've got equation 1 and equation 2. Now I will multiply equation 1 by 3 and multiply equation 2 by 4. Now why do you ask? 
because here B seems easier to eliminate. We have 40 and 30. So if I multiply equation 1 by 3, 40 into 3 will give me 120. And if I multiply equation 2 by 4, 4 into 30 will give me 120. So 120 by B, 120, 120 by B can be easily eliminated. So let's write the new equations now. So equation 1 into 3 will give you 40 into 3 is 120, 120 by B plus 55 into 3 is 165 by A is equal to 30 into 3, 39. This is equation 3. And now this one will be 120 by B plus 44 into 4, that is 176 by A is equal to 10 into 4, 40. This is equation 4. Now simply subtract both of these. So minus, 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 120 by B minus 120 by B cancels out. So you get a 0 plus 165 minus 176. So minus 11 by A is equal to 39 minus 40 is minus 1. Now on both the hands you have a minus. So you can cancel it out by making it plus. So it implies A is equal to 11. Now since we've got A, we can substitute this value of A in any of these equations, even in these equations and find the value of B. So let's take the first equation. So 40 by B plus 55 by A, A is already found, 11 is equal to 13. So 11 ones are, 11 fives are. So 40 by B is equal to 13, take it on that side, minus 5. So this is equal to 8. So it implies B is equal to 40 by 8 or 5. So we have found that the downstream speed A is 11 kilometers per hour and B is 5 kilometers per hour. Now we simply have to plug in the shortcut formula and find both of these values. All right, so now we got the downstream speed A as 11 kilometers per hour and upstream speed B as 5 kilometers per hour. Now we simply plug in the shortcut formula. Speed of the man in still water, that is speed of the boat, is half A plus B. So half 11 plus 5, 16 by 2 or 8 kilometers per hour. And speed of the current is also speed of the stream, that is half A minus B. So that is half 11 minus 5, that is 6 by 2 is equal to 3 kilometers per hour. So this is your final answer. Problem 3. A man can row 18 kilometers in still water. It takes him thrice as long to row up as to row down the river. Find the rate of the stream. All right, now for the third sum, they've said that the speed of the boat is 18 kilometers per hour in still water, and they've asked you to find the speed of the stream. Now, we already know that 18 kilometers in still water, that means boat speed, right? And boat speed, the shortcut formula is half A plus B where A is the downstream speed and B is the upstream speed. They've also given you that the time taken for the boat to travel upstream will be thrice as much taken for it to travel downstream. Now what this basically means is this. Consider a point X and a point Y, right? Now, for the boat to travel from X to Y, that is downstream, suppose it takes 10 minutes. Now upstream, Right, y to x, we've said it takes thrice the amount of time, so 30 minutes. This is all that information says, and here's how you use it. Now, we already know the distance formula. D is equal to st, right? Now, we can write it for the downstream and the upstream speeds. Do keep in mind that 10 minutes and 30 minutes is just an example. It's not relevant to this sum. So now, da is equal to sata or ata, since sa is a, and db is equal to SBTB or BTB. But we already know DA and DB is the same distance. So we can equate both of these equations. So now we can write ATA is equal to BTB. All right. Now, once we use this equation, we know that TB, the time taken to travel upward from Y to X, will be thrice the amount of time taken to travel from X to Y. So TB is actually three times ta that is 30 minutes is 3 into 10 minutes right if you equate it with this so you can write a ta is equal to b into 3 ta or a ta is equal to 3 b ta right i've taken 3 outside 
Now T A T A is can it's common, so we cancel it. So A is equal to three B. Now this you will substitute in this equation. We already know board speed is eighteen kilometers per hour, right? So now A is equal to three B. Let me just simplify this, right? So A is equal to three B. Now if you put it in here, eighteen is equal to half. What is A? Three B. Three B plus B. So four B by two, or two B, implies B is equal to eighteen by two. That is nine kilometers per hour. This is your upstream speed. Now, just substitute the value of B in this equation and get A. So now, eighteen um, is equal to half A plus B. B is nine, right? So eighteen into two is thirty-six. Minus nine is equal to A. Implies A is equal to twenty-seven. So twenty-seven kilometers per hour. This is downstream speed. All right. Now we've got A and we've got B. Now speed of the stream, shortcut formula, right? So I'll just write speed of S, right? Stream, okay, is half into A minus B. So half into A is twenty-seven minus B nine is equal to eighteen by two is equal to nine kilometers per hour. This is the answer. All right. So this is part two on lecture on boats and streams. If you found this video helpful, do subscribe to my channel and share this on Facebook. Thank you. Hi there. If you have any doubts about the problem solved in this video, you can leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Spread the knowledge.